Yeah, nice. Hi, everyone. It's Teresa here from I Can Achieve TV. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. ICA TV. And we're here today with Claire and we're talking about marketing with Teresa. So we want to hear all about her business and what she's up to in the real world. Well, surprisingly, not behind another screen, which we're all doing at the moment. So welcome, Claire, my sweet. How are you? Is uh, fine, not too bad at all. Cool, yeah, cool. And where are you based? Oh, I'm based in Hampshire in Waterlooville, which is about 10 miles north of Portsmouth. Okay, so down on the south coast, which I know quite well. And um, Claire and I, we've known each other for quite a few years actually. We met, I don't know, 10 years ago. Oh, more than that, Teresa, I think. Um, <laughs> Because I was in Southampton and you were nearby, weren't you? And we were in a networking business morning club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ages ago now. Be, what was be that? A business support type thing. And it was really interesting. It was Monday mornings and it oh, started at six at 7 a.m. Oh, my God, I remember. Yeah. And it was in a pub, wasn't it? Back of a pub. Yeah, it was uh, the Swanwick area. Oh, yeah, God. So we've known each other a while and yeah. our, things have changed a little bit and we've all been through a lot of stuff, a but lot. <laughs> quite a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> but what we're talking about today, and it's been lovely, I, I, you know, I knew we knew each other, but, you know, this has been pretty cool, us working alongside each other and you getting on here today, which is great. Um, your business is called Ray of Hope Training and Therapies. Therapies and Training. That oh, doesn't, so yeah. close. <laughs> training. Um, but we're talking today about a new program, a new project that you're doing called Distress yeah. You. So tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, it's quite new and I'm still developing it, but it's beginning to move. Um, so I started developing it in the last lockdown. So um, wow. sort of a year ago ish and um it came to me in sort of chunks to help well the end goal being to help younger people really um actually it was probably in my mind for quite a couple of years before that but I wasn't quite sure about it but the idea is to help young people de-stress um and develop their intuition skills and relax with using natural methods and perhaps ancient techniques which they might not be so familiar with and um, this is partly because of my background as being holistic therapist. Um, but it's also because there's quite a few younger people, I think, that may be frustrated by the current systems, current schooling systems, current college systems. And some of them don't have the outlet they need to develop their particular gifts and, and intuition. Say. So and I've met quite a few of them at Mind, Body, Spirit Fairs. Um, and it's very much geared around, um, sometimes they're known a little bit as indigo children, crystal children, rainbow children, and they're quite young, generally. There are elder versions, um, possibly I'm an elder indigo, quite old, um, but we, we kind of a bit sensitive to energy. Um, and these young people are very sensitive. Some of them are incredibly sensitive. Um, and they are meant to be here to help challenge current systems, um, what's happening with the planet. Um, they're here to stir things up a little bit and change things, but only for the good. Really well, I can good. see that could be quite a challenge in our educational system. You know, mm -hmm. even myself, 25 billion years ago when I was at school, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't particularly, <laughs> I didn't particularly fit into their box and um, yeah. and I think that box has got tighter as, yeah. as we've come through you know and you know, that's my soapbox I think I know ed education used to be in education and and support um yeah. to to where these young people just really don't fit into this um I'm gonna say 24 7 but you know this whole whole system where you have to do this you have to do that you have to do this to get where you need to be or you have yeah. to pass an exam to yeah. be that sort of person to yeah. feed the economic system so yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my soapbox get off that quick science or maths or certain subjects english or and things that are very traditional and they've all it's always been that way so we're looking at completely different subjects and using things like um, crystals 
Um, we're looking at the chakra system, which are any energy points on the body that um, are between the body and the spirit um, and can be really useful to look at healing. And then we're looking at things like meditation, breath work, um, and we use things, little tools like, um, well, we use the oils, we use the crystals, we use message cards like angel cards, but then they're actually simpler and they're going to be just 16 of them. But I just want them to be able to play, create and talk to each other in a safe environment and um, look at these skills and how they can sort of use them. And we've developed four classes at the moment, which um, I'm helping teachers learn the background behind those classes. And then we can develop four more shortly. Um, but I've already um, been teaching it to two people, one who's in Norfolk, in Norwich. And I was working with Josh for quite a little while, actually, in Norfolk. And I really noticed he is so, so very much classic sort of indigo <laughs> um, and so much wanted to help and change things so I got him involved and then amazing Priya as well who's a yoga teacher in southeast London so I've been on a bit of a journey myself to investigate these things and and been taught by so many different people um, incredibly knowledgeable and magical mystical people and um, also journeyed with two mystery schools which were incredible and are incredible and doing great wow. things so it's been quite a journey, but it's sort of very personal. And I wanted to, to help young people with the knowledge I've got, really. And that's, particularly that's quite powerful, though, Claire, isn't it? You know, the fact that if we can have the skills ourselves as grown ups mm. and we can teach young people, it's like a legacy, isn't it? To be able to teach young people the ability to to support themselves, I nearly said to fit in, but that's totally wrong. Um, the fact is, unfortunately, at school there is a law that we have to send young people to school or to higher education or whatever. But sometimes it is to enable them to survive that process and mm. not be shattered. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's quite difficult isn't it because they're often constrained so much and there's only so much play that they can really have obviously in the early stages of school there's play isn't there especially that very first year whatever they call it year one I think or, um, and then it starts to get a lot heavier doesn't it with all the homework and things very like quickly that. very quickly and then they have the I forget my son is 27 now <laughs> probably having a laugh seeing this but Basically, they are they are oh, they have to work really quite hard from quite a young age, I think. Um, but these classes aren't so much classes. They're they're in they might find they get a few instructions and they have to sit and listen, but they will have some time to experiment and interact with each other as well and learn these subjects which are a little bit more um not mainstream, really. I suppose, um, you know, I'm going to say that word. I'm going to go woo woo. <laughs> you know, you know we, we hear so much, you know, about you know, even chakras and crystals, etc., mm. that are becoming more mainstream. You know, we're hearing about them more in the UK, even though different cultures have used them for hundreds of years. Mm. Um, but we, we're, I'm going to go, are we British? I don't know. Are we a little bit like a bit stayed in our thoughts about this? And that's why we give it a, oh, it's a woo-woo thing. We're not going to do that. Mm. Do, you, do you think that is a hindrance to this teaching? It is a little bit of an obstacle, which um, slowly and surely I'm trying to get word out to say, well, this it can be more grounded. And these things are have been used for thousands of years, really. And back in, you know, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, people were using them just normally. But they're coming back in and I think they are being used more and more. And it's so wonderful to see things like even batch flower remedies and chemists, certainly essential oils are available. Crystals you can buy online. Um, the crystals are very um, specific. They have energy, which some people may be more sensitive to. And something like the oils, everyone can see and detect the difference in, in you know, the aromas. But I mean, clearly you can do qualifications now in, in holistic therapy. I think there's even degrees now in that type of thing. Wow. 
I just did my sort of classic training as um, holistic, uh, sorry, massage and then aromatherapy and the different forms of massage. And um, then I went on to learn um, more things such as psychic development and um, healing work, which is natural healing. Obviously, um, I realised that not, it's not for everyone at all. I mean, that's totally <laughs> acceptable. Um, but you generally know who's drawn to it and um, and who isn't. And that well, obviously the audience I'm after are the, the young people that may not may just need a slight push um, forward to say, no, come on, this is something that if you're interested in it, just explore it a little bit. And in a in a controlled way, in a class, giving them permission. Yeah, permission to be themselves, really. That's because, nice. I'm honest, I think Teresa, that's where I I felt like this whole system of, I mean, education. I I quite enjoyed school. There were elements I didn't, and college, if you like, and then polytechnic. I wasn't uni, but I was poly. But um, <laughs> did a business degree, but. Basically, um, you are pushed down a certain route, I think, and it's a certain subject. So I think there's much greater choice now as well. So, yeah. So, but it's just getting this, um, it's almost like cutting through different things and just saying, no, let's pull these strands and weave them together and come out with something which um, also can help people who might want to teach that subject as well and bring that out into the community. So um, that's that's another way of looking at it, because actually I was teaching kids yoga through another system, which was Minimi Yoga, um, which was really successful. And um, it sort of sparked ideas in my own mind. Well, we can do something similar with holistic therapies um, and sort of the intuitive skills and, and take it forward for younger people. Yeah. So hopefully I'm meandering a bit, but uh, <laughs> I, I was sensitive to people's energy when I was younger and um, right from quite an early age like about seven and many people are but they 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 feel they can't open up about it and then when I met all these people when I got older um, even in my 20s I had a little few experiences but it really took off hmm, I was quite quite late for me 39 40 and then I started to really experiment and, and go all over the place but if I'd have found someone perhaps doing something like this earlier, I would have really liked to explore it. But they say it comes to you when you when you're ready to when deal you with need it. it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're not ready. Sometimes it's like some of those things that pass us by because we're just not even tuned in at that time. Exactly. Do you yeah. think it's about um, being uh, what's the word verbal? Being hold a conversation about this. So. So it's a bit more mainstream rather than a little bit, you know, hidden behind the, I yeah. don't know, the, the therapy door, as it were. Yeah, I think um, it is a bit sensitive. I do understand that it even could be seen as a little controversial by mainstream people. Um, obviously, for younger people, we'd need permission from parents. So obviously, six, even 16 to 18, I think we'd need permission. But... I think, you know, if parents are a little bit open themselves and they're more likely to to, you know, approve of it, I hope. But I, I would love to get this out into the community. That would be great, you know, and see it more widely, widely accepted, perhaps. So you're looking Let me let's get this right. You're you, you've trained two amazing people in the system in your program and you're actually looking for more people who would be interested mm -hmm. in your program to be able yeah. to go out into the community and support young people. Yeah, that would be incredible wow. to have more people come to me. I was really happy to get the two people that came. And it almost always feels like, well, whoever comes to you is, is right, you know, at that very time. I, I believe everything. There's never coincidences as far as I can see. And everything happens for a reason. But, yeah, if people could step forward and try, you know, go to the second um test run that would be incredible we have piloted it and this would be a first real go at it so it would be amazing to get more people wow. and also in perhaps different areas as well so we've got at the moment norfolk um south east london and i'm in hampshire and i wouldn't mind trying to run some of the classes myself as well that's always good though isn't it because you can get mm. real feedback on that absolutely so how, it, yeah. how it feels and how the young people are dealing with their challenges out in the I guess say real world you know yeah. it, should, it shouldn't be 
the real world but it is quite stressful for young people really difficult i can't imagine what it's like at the moment to be some of these young people obviously it's hard for us all and all elders older people very much maybe more vulnerable but the younger people as well it's absolutely baffling that this has happened this pandemic at this point and i really feel for them i think it, it would really perhaps help with communication and we have the idea of getting together in a circle at the beginning and the end so that however many people young people it is they can you know be together at the beginning and end and have feedback at the end as well so and then perhaps a tiny bit of homework as well thrown in but not horrible homework where you're writing loads of information <laughs> It's not a written <laughs> written test at the end no but, no but i think part of what we're learning you know we we know every single day that we learn something you know whatever that is we're learning um, mm -hmm. but this is something to enable the young people to use their intuition which we've all got we just might mm -hmm. ignore it quite a lot whether it's called intuition gut feeling mm -hmm. you know ar around that sort of side of things to keep themselves safe you know yeah. that gut feeling is huge you know when you know that you're in the wrong place at the wrong time mm -hmm. and also to have the confidence to be themselves to yes walk away from trouble or walk into a place that's that's safe for themselves i think that's huge yeah absolutely and there's so many temptations and there's so much dark darker stuff coming in you know more difficult things happening um this could hopefully be some type of um life belt for them to hang on to a little bit maybe i i, I hope that doesn't sound but I suppose I would have like really liked something like this when I was in my 20s even I would have found it really quite helpful um, to discuss some experiences I'd had or ways of dealing with some of these things I never really realized actually I nearly got it's a bit weird I nearly got run over by well I kind of got um what was it the bulge of a tire of an articulated lorry caught me on my foot when I was cycling and I stopped because something fell off this the back of this lorry I wanted to tell god knows what but I wanted to tell the driver something had happened and um and the bulge of the tire caught my foot and I swear to you I had PTSD I think ever since when lorry comes close and I'm driving or I'm in a car I, I do get some effect of stress but until the lorry has gone past and I any anything to have helped with that over all those years would have would have been good really Absolutely. Um, that, that's just a small example but um, yeah just just other ways of sort of dealing with stress and um, being able to relax in a more natural way rather than and, and there are and and actually we're being prescribed quite a lot of um i'm going to say some sort of drug or some sort of stress reliever or or something rather than going to the root of the challenge yeah to be able exactly. to have yeah to be able to have something there rather than a a, a tonic or a pill or a you know it seems like dark ages doesn't it you know we can we can make you better by giving you this rather than actually we can you know we can look at the challenge and then we can work our way through that using different techniques yes exactly it wouldn't be exactly counseling sessions or anything like that but it might be a sort of outlet for them really mm -hmm. you, you know, hopefully and maybe um with a topic like um let me think i can't think of the names of them now but um stress and dealing with stress or um how how to love yourself more be you know more content in yourself um creativity and passion that sort of thing to make them more creative as well and draw things out and we we're, we're actually um we go into with the teachers quite a bit on the chakras because there's so much there that people aren't, may not be aware of which we can draw on so um it does sound yeah it's hard to explain it in like a 40 minute interview <laughs> just dun, 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 we'll sort it out yeah it is a, it is a, i just think we also as as i'm gonna go uk maybe europe i don't know um but a lot of what you're talking about i feel is more available in maybe asia or you know because that's that's a nor yeah it's a normality <laughs> You know, we're talking about relaxing, they talk about chakras, they talk about breath, you know, mm. this is where we've got yoga, etc. Mm. from. 
exactly exactly it's really weird isn't it because i did i did judo as a young woman actually and that was my proudest moment <laughs> i got a silver medal or something yeah. national and, but I mean it was about discipline and it was you know it was so I really it worked with the chi energy and I, I thought wow I've got all this power I never knew I had you know so it's it's that type of feeling and then I learned about Reiki in my um what would it be 30s um but the reason I came into it all in the first place was that I became a little bit ill I'd had whooping cough as a child actually really seriously I think really my mum's passed away bless her but I think I could have died from it she never really told me that but I had a, a, a lung that is not so good so I wanted to help heal myself and I, I started to use um, healing from my hands and I could feel the chi energy and that you know developed Reiki and became Reiki master and so on and I thought wow I had no idea that we had this sort of open to us which is accessible to anyone really to develop and then I opened up more to those things but it's sort of like an iceberg with it's like we can only see the tip of the iceberg mm. and there's so much more there below and I think at this moment in time sorry I sound like uh you know uh, I'm on the soapbox but at this I'm moment you. It's fine. <laughs> we've we've sort of been through so many machinations and ways to um develop and control issues in society and things but and schooling methodologies but you know using these alternative ways may be a really good way to go because we have got some issues really there yeah. um, to deal with and youth youth are struggling a bit i think and I, I, the youth are our history you know they are the, our next generation that's going to take exactly. us to wherever we're going to go Exactly, yeah. true. Yeah. We've both got children. Oh, yeah. And watching us. And, and look, I, I would love to think that I could do something to assist those generations, you know, that are going to get you that are there below us, sort of thing. Um, I, I felt I had quite a lot of help, and I'd like to, to do that to help other people. But also, it could be quite a nice little business for someone as well. I'm not saying that they huge amounts of money but it would be a nice thing to do and also might empower someone to um open up as their teaching abilities as well wow. so that's that's another advantage i think from it so you're looking for people really that can have a look as we've said come and have a chat with you and talk about your program and see if it fits in with themselves as a as an individual who wants to share to the young people in the world or to add to their business they might be a, a teacher in a different theme whether it's yoga or or yeah. some sort of therapy but they're basically passionate about supporting young people yeah exactly and i, I think, think that might resonate with them quite strongly and i can see i think we had the chat just before this didn't we that at the moment on facebook and the social media you can see so many people who are helping other people which is wonderful and i you know i think there's more there as well to to be had and there's more people that could get involved mm. um and i think many people are quoting gandhi aren't they um i forget the quote what is it um be the change you want to see i think it is so yeah. In, embody that and let's let's do something constructive i know it's not easy where many people are at home they're cut off but i did all this in the lockdown and we've tra i've trained two people in the lockdown online i'm not asking for medal <laughs> you're doing you're, you're, it's you're, not on the back my darling it, no because we could all <laughs> decided that not to get out of bed and shut the door you know but to be able to do something that's positive mm. It's well, really yeah, cool. we, we're, you know, we're not frontline. Those frontline people are incredible. My sister's one of them, by the way, and, and my hat's off to them. They're incredible people. But this is another thing people could do to get because we don't really know where we're headed, do we? We don't. We do know that there's programs in place to try and eradicate the um, nasty virus. But let's let's hope it's resolved but if it isn't then this online way of working we could possibly run the classes online mm -hmm. i'll speak to both teachers and see how they're going to you know how how best they're going to deal with it but ideally it would be nice to be in groups to do this and but come to if it's an online program like all of us you know we've all adapted we what's the word mm -hmm. at the moment? pivoted you know to go yeah. on our 
to uh, to support online but on the other hand i think it's a positive one we would not have connected again claire no it's like amazing. this is something that we've known each other as i said at the beginning for years but we wouldn't have connected because you're no. now obviously in hampshire and i'm in west wales so that wouldn't have happened so no we and I'm, spread sorry. this word we can spread it out even though it's yeah. on a machine yeah, and you're, I know you're doing wonderful things with the women and the interviews. I can't believe you've done 10. Was it 10 last yeah, year? Yeah, I've done some, yeah. Incredible, because it's not just the women you're helping, it's the people watching their, their video, getting inspired, isn't it? But I've also run, um, along with many other people, run circles online as well, which we do with Wick and Will of the Year, which is, you know, sort of meetups. We do a little bit of um, ceremony, we do a tiny bit of ritual, prayers, and, and then talk about those. Um, so it might be the solstices. We just had Ostara, which links in with Easter. Not everyone's cup of tea, but it's a chance to mingle and get together. Investigate. And, yeah, and investigate. And I've been doing with with prayer yoga online, that sort of thing. It's, I, I think it's really helpful. It's help, good. help. Yeah. So we've we've met up, and you're. I'm very honoured that you've joined um, the Action Club, which is I Can Achieve Action Club, which is a, a a very closed group of amazing female business owners, and we we throw ideas around. I support in tradings, and we're there. Basically, we have a bit of a laugh and we get stuff done. <laughs> um, Very. <laughs> not much, yeah, there's not much gin involved because no, it's, usually, oh, it's usually in the morning. <laughs> so we don't do that. But what is the benefits that you've found in relation to joining the Action Club? Oh, yeah, it's been incredibly helpful, really. I think, was it November I started talking to you last well, November? I think so, yeah. Um, I think what you did was really shake me up a tiny bit. And I thought, well, I've got to get on with this because I think I'd done a little bit, but I was a little bit lacking in the drive because I also moved from London to, to Hampshire and I needed to be um, have some more discipline. And I think what I enjoy is seeing those other ladies and just sharing and going through some kind of plan with you. And you are a really good taskmaster. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing <laughs> up here uplifting to get us to um do what we say we're gonna do which reminds me i've got 20 more questions but oh i'm expecting them <laughs> yeah um, I, I, I hopefully you know part of the group is that because we have the encouragement and we have a little bit of a competition and a little bit of a challenge to get this moving and it's yeah. one little step at a time and mm. if we can hold each other's hand through it and if we can certainly have a laugh through it and <laughs> to, to get where we want to be. And then we eventually the goal will come because we know where we're aiming and we will automatically be there. And you go, oh, shoot, where did that come from? So that. Yeah. And I, I, I really um, appreciate that you you are grounded and you, you, you know, you will talk to me like before this interview and say, well, yeah, this grand plan. But actually, can we just bring it down to this bit, which is actually very much what I do. I'm a water sign, by the way. We do talk about elements in this program. I'm very watery. I'm going, <laughs> and you're bringing this right back down to ground to make it practical, which I think is what I needed, really. And it's, it's a bit of a straight line. Yeah, straight line. And that thing of following through as well. So from one meeting to the next, which I really appreciate. But with sense of humour, so that's so <laughs> I hope so. You know, I don't want to be a teacher stood in front of the class wagging my finger. That's not certainly me at all. But actually to get the things done, because you as a person, as a business owner, you feel better because you've achieved what you were wanting to achieve. And actually yeah. you can come and bring that to the group going, yeah, we're there. We've done that. Yeah. And be excited about where you're going with it. And that's really cool. Yeah, sharing the wins, as you said last time, that's so important, isn't it? Because when you are entrepreneurial, you're at home on your own. And I haven't really been in a company for so long. Proper, you know, corporate. I'm from corporate world, but it's it. You need that extra sort of company, don't you, to yeah. to get you through? I think, especially in these lockdowns as well. Yeah, the four walls start coming in, don't they? If we don't sort of expand or breathe. You know, and I feel it's a breath of fresh air with me, even though there's a room of people in front of me, mm. <laughs> which isn't the, the same as having a hug. 
to be honest but it's actually the very next best thing really to yeah and I think you bring your um well I'm a country girl as well at heart and you're in Wales aren't you and I love that vibe and you're talking to a couple of the ladies in Wales a bit and that just I like that as well that essence of the country but I must say I've done such a journey from being in Southampton then you know to France and then back to Norfolk then London and then back to where I was 20 years back home <laughs> you're back home and in tarot some people watching might know tarot it's like I would say it's the fool's journey but it's not they say fool but it's about education and, and it is a journey what I've gone on and hopefully to help to benefit others as well that's awesome yeah can I, but can I ask you to leave one thing for our listeners that you feel in business is a good thing uh I'm I'm going to risk my neck here and say use your intuition because I always have and I've managed perhaps I'm a cat with how many lives do cats meant to have seven say nine nine lives <laughs> got nine lives I might be on my eighth at the moment <laughs> like use your intuition more if you can because as we, we talk through the chakras a lot of that's held in the solar plexus area and and the will and it is inc- immensely powerful. It's like a second brain, but people often aren't listening to it. It's gut feeling. But I've used it without realising years ago, Teresa, and I, I was naturally right. <laughs> I think I was anyway. Um, or right that something was going to go wrong, if I, I dare say it. But um, it's incredibly powerful, you know. So, um, yeah. I to- totally agree. Chaos ladies are quite in tune with our um, intuition quite a bit, I think, aren't we? Uh, and we are a lot of, we lose it sometimes and we do, don't believe ourselves but exactly. if we can bring yeah. that back into our realm I think that's a really good thing to do yeah exactly yeah well I'm gonna love and leave everybody here my sweet thank you so much for joining us I must stay thank you I stay we'll bring um information out to everybody who's watching if they're interested in just come and have a chat with you about what you're up to you know and then you can lead them to a group or or anywhere that you need to just have a little chat with which is also a good thing so this is ICA TV if you're interested in any way about sharing your business out there to the world give me a shout you know it's like having a chin wag you know we're not serious serious we like to dig deep but we also have a bit of a laugh Um, so do give us a shout Um, we're talking marketing with Teresa this is this this program and just come and have a, you know, have a shout. Have a, mine's a very cold have a coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but we're here to, to support your business. And this will go out on um, our ICA, I Can Achieve group. It will go out on YouTube and it will also go out in to LinkedIn. So mm. we're, we're getting out there, ladies. We're sorting this out. So if you are a member of the group fantastic welcome if not come and find us ICA TV that there will be a link and also if you are wanting to find us on YouTube and we have um, a place there to to find us and I will give you a link of that as well and remember to ring that bell so when we go out there you know we're there which is a bit of an issue because people don't ring the bell and also on LinkedIn you will find there so be another link there so I will love and leave everybody before it gets dark <laughs> and, and Claire and I can have another chat but take care everybody on um, ICA TV and it's fab sharing with you all these amazing businesses but we'll take care Thanks, um, <laughs> you're welcome my darling and we'll catch up really soon so take care everyone bye-bye